Camelot 331 here. And what do we have here? <laughs> Another company has jumped into the ring to battle it out for worst damn company ever during a crisis like we have going on now. And that company is Office Damn Depot. What the hell, Office Depot? Oh my gosh, essential employees. We should probably say what they really mean. And that's expendable employees. So Office Depot considers themselves extremely, extremely essential. And you can argue whether they are or whether they're not. But in my opinion, it's not 1984. So you don't need office supplies for working at home because email. But still, you can argue that point. But nearly every Office Depot remains open with some doing curbside that are basically forced to by the government. And they are absolutely refusing to close. That's nothing new. We hear this all the time, but what else is going on? They are not taking care of their associates in any way, shape, or form. And I'm going to show you a bunch of messages that say just that from their associates. And plus, a lot, lot more. And wait till the last message. Oh, oh my God. They don't give a damn. So before we get into it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, doodle. It's really important. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> so first message. I work at Office Depot. Have you heard anything from there lately? Well, now we have. <laughs> they say, so our manager has told us to not worry about cleaning, mainly because we're all out of supplies. No hand sanitizer, no cleaning wipes, no soap or anything. We are being told we're essential because we sell water. Shocking. <laughs> wow. They are not offered hazard pay or anything. If we choose to stay home, it goes directly against our record. I was made to sign a waiver saying that I understand that I'm essential. I guess so we can't sue for choosing to come in. Planning on quitting soon. Minimum wage isn't worth this. I have elderly parents. And a lot of companies are doing this. They're not offering any pay and they expect you just be okay. We're risking your life while they sit in their mansion and, and stay quarantined. Everybody in any corporate office ever is not working right now. But the people on the front lines that make almost nothing are. Something strange about that. And I know what you're thinking. That message was just from one associate. Are there more? What is the morale like at Office Depot right now while they completely ignore the safety of all their associates for a little bit of profit? How do they feel? Let's look on the associate Reddit for Office Depot and see just how they feel. You could probably imagine how they feel. Check this out. To upper management and corporate, we're risking our health, life, and sanity for your bonus. I'm sure you're tired of hearing us complain about working the front lines here in the store, but what you're not considering is we are not only risking getting and spreading the virus, we're dealing with the mass hysteria that comes with a pandemic. People lining up at the front 30 minutes before open, peeking in and watching us stock the shelves and ready the store. That brings back the PTSD for me. When I saw somebody outside, I just wanted to go in the back and end it all. When they're just waiting on you to open. There's nothing more obnoxious than that. If you wanted a zombie apocalypse, well, just work at Office Depot. It's basically the same thing. Banging on the locked doors until someone comes to tell them, no, we are out of sanitizer, paper towels, and Lysol and toilet paper. Customers getting upset at us, asking for them to respect our personal space. Cursing at us for the lines and tables you told us to put up. I have had many older people coming in to simply browse and then deny the existence of the virus completely. So I know they aren't taking precautions to prevent the spread. Associates scared of coming to work because we don't have the resources to sanitize our store. We deserve more than what you're providing for dealing with this for you. You being the corporate office and the executives at Office Depot. We deserve something more than our low hourly wage. Retail is keeping you and your family safe at the cost of our health, mental, and physical. Reward us for that. The media is watching, and that's very important. The media is watching. Does Office Depot care? Hell no. They don't give a damn. They've done absolutely damn nothing to help their associates at all. And you'll see it more in depth in that message that I'm going to read you here at the end. Check this out. Managers, hopefully you've finally seen how corporate really feels about store level associates. Stop drinking the Kool-Aid and look around, damn it. I know Kool-Aid is delicious, especially the cherry kind, but it is not good to drink the corporate Kool-Aid. Other retailers left and right are shutting their doors. The DMs, RVPs, the VPs, and especially Gary, which is the CEO, don't give a damn about you. They are home right now hunkering down. You 
you're still in stores and barking at associates who can't meet the sign-up and square trade quotas and having to deal with sick people and putting your families at risk. I had only one manager during my tenure openly say corporate doesn't give a damn about you. Now he only says this once around associates he can trust, but I wish more managers were as open as this. I don't know how the DCs are operating, but this just seals the final nail in the coffin. The employees are pissed. And it's because of Gary, the CEO, not willing to sacrifice some of that money. There's some corporations out there where the CEO is sacrificing his entire salary or cutting it to pay associates. Will this guy do it? Hell no. Hell no. He doesn't give a damn. He doesn't care about his associates even a little bit. Why? Because money's apparently delicious. You can just eat the hell out of it. I don't damn know, man. I don't know if you pronounce his name Gary or Jerry. I don't care. He's not worth me damn looking it up. Look at this one. You've done it, Office Depot. I feel absolutely, completely worthless and expendable. Think about that for a second. You're trying to buy these associates loyalty. That's what you want in a, a company. You want to buy your associates loyalty. Treat them right. Make them want to work for you. Not because they're told to do so, but because they want to. That's how an, a business should operate. And that's how it will be profitable. But they feel completely worthless and expendable. And to be honest, the CEO probably feels the same about his associates. Look at this. God, crazy. Thanks, Gary slash Jerry. I hope you know I can prove I've practiced social distancing 24-7 when not at work. And if I get tested positive, I can prove I contracted it from the store. I'd love to make your pockets hurt if I even live through this. Check this one out. See ya off the steep. <laughs> Bye. After some internal debating, I've decided, F it. I'm out. I texted one manager finishing up my last shift and told the second manager, the one not taking vacation, and told them I'm going into isolation and will not be coming in for my shift on Monday. The one on vacay still hasn't answered my text, and I doubt he will. The other one looked a bit disappointed and maybe a little worried about next week, but I had to do it. Sucks too, because I actually enjoy that manager. I expect to get a phone call Monday, followed by another one the week after. By the second week, I'm almost 1,000% sure they'll be sending me a letter saying I no-call and no-showed for too long and they're canning me. Piss me off, but hey, maybe you should actually take precautions to keep your workers safe if you're going to be paying them $8 an hour. I take being broke over getting my family sick any day. And that's the big thing here. That's the big thing. You have to think about people's families. But does, does the executives think about it? Does, does Gary slash Jerry think about it? Hell no. He doesn't care. Of course they don't care about your family. All they're doing is making this situation worse, and they will do it gladly at the expense of thousands of people. That they probably do affect negatively with this over making a couple million dollars in profit. That's how that works. They don't give a damn. Look at this one right here. Sorry. I'm a GM. All I can say is I am sorry. I came to this company five years ago after working for a truly horrible company. I fell in love with Office Depot, but now I see what this company really is. My store is in a huge retail plaza, and we are the only store that hasn't closed or reduced hours. Closed or reduced hours at all. They're not doing anything. It's crazy to me. They should be doing curbside nationwide at the very, very least. Curbside only, like Best Buy is doing right now curbside only that's it and that's even if they were considered essential which they're not we are open later than grocery stores walmart and target i don't get it wow that's insane we have daily conference calls about how good sales are and to put signs everywhere outside and in the street saying we're open please come in please give us money please we want to benefit from this nightmare that everybody else is dealing with meanwhile my associates ask me why does corporate not care about us as they work from home you best damn believe corporate's not doing anything right now. I don't have an answer because I refuse to tell them the truth. Profit over associates. Profit over people. Every damn time. And these fake letters they send us telling us how much they appreciate us. Oh, and to add insult to injury, while all these people are putting their lives on the line, this guy, which is the CEO, is sitting here in his 5 o'clock shadow at home in his Nike shirt in his mansion sending the associates a video saying how good they're doing. Thank you guys so much for risking your life so I can live in my damn mansion and quarantine myself away from the world and stay safe and keep my family safe. But you guys can go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's basically what's happening here. Look at this letter 
This last guy just talked about a letter they received. Look at this. Very simply, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you to all our associates across the entire organization who are pushing hard every day and navigating uncharted territory to keep our Office Depot operational during these unprecedented times. Thank you guys while I'm at home. The path forward will continue to be challenging. We will become tired. We will get stressed. And we will have obstacles to overcome, but we've already demonstrated that's possible when we work together. And I have no doubt we'll continue to deliver. Ha <laughs> ha! I have no doubt, meaning they ain't closed anytime soon. Right here, continue taking care of yourself, your family, and your colleagues, and thank you again for your continued dedication. Best regards, old Gary, the CEO. What an absolute slap in the face. Thank you. Make sure you take care of your family and everybody else. Oh yeah, you can't because you're here right now. Being essential. Gotta sell the copy paper and the pens and stuff. Here's something I want to point out right away. Really, really fast. Right away. Look at this right here. This is a county health officer. In an effort to slow the spread of this thing, Dr. Thomas Harris Floyd, the county health officer, does hereby order a mandate for all non-essential retail services to close walk-in service to the public. This includes automobile dealers, furniture stores, electronic and appliance stores, Lowe's, GameStop, cosmetic stores, personal care stores, salons, barbershops, tattoo parlors, clothing and shoe stores, jewelry stores, sporting goods stores, music shops, bookstores, hobby and craft stores, florists, office supply, stationery, gift stores, libraries, fitness centers, karate schools, and auctions. Right there, office supply, stationery, gift stores. That's all I wanted to point out real quick on what is actually considered essential. Now let's move on. So here's the spicy message that details every damn thing that's going on. We got to spread this. Make sure, make sure you share the hell out of this video. So maybe we can save these associates and get them out of these damn stores if it gets enough negative PR. <laughs> so here's this message right here. It says, hey, Cam, I work at Office Depot and it is burning down. <laughs> they do not even care a little about us. I want to stress that we're not allowed to wear face masks. There's no hazard pay. Stores are having a hard time restocking essential cleaning product. And employees aren't allowed to take preemptive self-quarantine without it counting against our attendance. Our store was super busy until the state went on full lockdown, meaning my coworkers had to face an increased volume of customers. Also, meaning they had a higher chance of coming into contact with somebody with this. But the one thing that I want to push more than anything is our stores are still open to walk-in customers. At this stage, we should be online orders only. We can offer items shipped from the store or at curbside, like I said. But there is no reason to continue putting our associates and the public in danger by allowing our doors to stay open. The only reason I could think of that they should be open is so Gary slash damn Jerry can buy another damn mansion. And you best damn believe he does want another mansion. You haven't lived unless you have two, at least two. Now that we're in state lockdown of non-essential business, the only customers that seem to be coming in are coming in to browse more than they're actually to get essential supplies. And our sales have suddenly tanked since the lockdown went into effect. We're also not a full-size post office or FedEx location. We ship third party through these carriers. If they wanted us to stay open because we shipped, I would say curbside drop-off of packages with pre-printed labels only would suffice. Or we need to make a special case for shipping customers that they're allowed in the store, but only to ship and no purchases allowed. A coworker of mine literally came in and said her mother has this thing and that she was supposed to be at home in quarantine. Then she just shrugged. Many of my coworkers were around her all day. Office Depot will, in fact, be at the result of some deaths. They are helping spread this thing. Most companies are having to close down. The police are coming in and forcing them to close down. At Office Depot, if they show up, they're just given a number to call, and then they just fight them on it, of course. But the public health doesn't consider them essential. And really, in my opinion, they're not either. Listen, listen, I'm looking at you, Gary, slash damn Jerry. Look at me in my eyeballs. I hope you're watching right now. Close your stores, protect your associates. Stop thinking about your damn mansion. You already got one. Be happy with your mansion. Maybe just settle for a Ferrari or something. I don't know. Holy hell. So that's all I have. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up doodle. Like it. Subscribe. And make sure you share it with everybody. We can make a difference as people. It's damn possible. For sure. We do it all the damn time. So until next time, make sure you get on it. Doggone it.
Bye. Yeah.